Hello guys, hello, uh, welcome to uh, day two of the uh, game development challenge. Now, sadly, I have some bad news today. Um, my opponent, or friend, who was making his game in Unity, unfortunately lost all of his day to last night, or this morning. Um, he went to delete a script, and instead deleted the entire scripts folder, and because Unity is inferior to Unreal, <laughs> uh, he didn't it didn't auto-generate some kind of backup, whereas in Unreal we have an, uh, an auto-backup that's kind of generated for us. Um, so he's kind of in two minds as to whether he's going to jump back on and get back on this, but I've still decided to push ahead and see if I can make a fully working game within a week. So that's not deterred me. In fact, what it's made me want is I want you guys to pick up his slack now. I want you guys to hop on that, and I want one of you to bash out this really incredible game in a week. Anyway. So, uh, the purpose of the video today is to show you what I've got done, basically. Um, now, I'm on my laptop, and I can't build lighting on this thing. I've got 8 gigs of RAM in the laptop, but I just can't build lighting. It's just not enough RAM for this map. Um, so, I've done a bit of audio. I've done a bit of... I'll, I'll jump in and show you. So, if I just hit this for now. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll pop it out into a standalone game as well. So, let's just give this a moment to uh, save and then pop out. I'll show you what we've got. Now I do have the audio turned on for this because I have been doing uh, a bit of work with audio so I apologise if it's too loud or too quiet. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll turn it down just a smidge over there. Okay. Just wait for this to pop out now. Any second. That reminds me I need to make a custom splash screen for that and rename the project but that's I can do that later. So I've been focused. I've done bits of stuff today. I focused a bit more on the landscape. I do have some pretty cool stuff to show you that uh, that's part of the landscape that took me quite a bit of today. But I'll show you this first of all. Um, the heartbeat you can ignore that. That's for when you're below 20% health. So when you start a new game, you can see that the hunger is actually going down really quickly. That was for debugging stuff. Um, but yeah, so I've got the. I'll show you that again. There's a pause menu now, so you can save from here. And it says saved up there when it saves. And you can quit the game. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, <laughs> I've not really, uh, it's quite hard to, damn it, it's quite hard to show you that. Uh, but yeah, there's a main menu now, you can pause, you can load a game from the menu, you can s you can open a new game and you can quit the game. From the pause menu you can resume, you can quit the game and you can save your game. So if you are, let's say you stood up here, you want to save the game. Uh, if I do it from current camera location, hit new game. So I'm up here facing I'll tell you what I'll do is I will put the sun between my things and I will hit save. Then I'll I will quit. Hit play again. Oh I'll just change my camera location so I'm over here now. So we'll play again. Load game and there I am. The sun's moved. The sun isn't actually saved in the um save it saving thing so its location will reset at the beginning of each game um... okay so beside the day night cycle which is now a thing there's this little shack here uh, and i'll just show you some audio that i've got going besides the heartbeat in fact that's just reminding me of the heartbeat i will quickly um, head on into the first person character there's a bunch of stuff um, and we're just going to quickly change my hunger to 100 thirst is at 100 health starts at 100 and I'll also change the rate at which that hunger depletes which should be 5 so that should now get rid of the annoying heartbeat uh, it didn't get rid of the annoying heartbeat which means I've got something going wrong in here auto activate there you are okay that should fix that there we go. Okay, so I'll quickly run you through the cave and show you the bit of audio I've got in here. There's also a sprint function which strains the stamina. Okay, so out here, what I'm just going to tab out and do again real quick now is open the level 3 and I'm actually just going to make it stay daytime. 
or at least set this to no I'll just make it stay daytime for a moment um, by disconnecting this node because what I want to show you requires a bit of light and this that is the lake now this was a pretty boring thing now what I actually wanted to do with this I didn't end up doing I wanted to have a massive pirate ship in here like some crazy lagoon pirate ship kind of thing uh, instead that's been Sorry about that. Instead that's been replaced with this boat. So no more pirate ship, small rowing boat. But as you just heard there, the splash effect. So when I jump into the water. And we can swim up and down. There are oxygen bubbles and fish kinda swimming around. I mean, you can clearly see where they spawn, I could do with fixing that, but nonetheless. So we can swim on the surface of the water by holding shift up here. But yeah, there's oxygen bubbles, and there's the uh, little fishes down there. Now I'm going to show you another thing that I've been working on, and to get to it, we need to swim. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back underwater and just keep my mouth shut while I uh, like listen to the sounds. I don't actually know what happened there. That needs to be fixed. It should stay like this all the way down, but nonetheless, we'll uh, we'll push on through. We'll push through and have a look. Now I'll uh, remember to fix that in a minute. Don't know why the audio stopped there, but again, that's just another thing to fix. I've literally, not 20 minutes ago, started putting the audio in, so it's not perfect, it'll need adjusting and stuff. And this is only day two of seven. Now I'll push steadily on through the tunnel. Um, now what would be funny is if I put a dead end at the end here, so someone that's playing the game thinks they're getting somewhat cool and they swim all the way through and then, oh no, it's just a dead end. But actually I didn't put a dead end in. And we can ascend to the surface here. And despite the fact that it's crazy dark, which, ugh, okay, just a moment, sorry about that. Let me just grab the main light source and rotate it so it points this way. So, you would, so let me just pop back into the game without trying to show you too much. So, you swim up, you climb out. And there's this kind of building thing, so it's like, what? I mean, there's this like little hick town in the middle of nowhere, and then you swim through this tunnel that you've just found, and there's this pretty modern building. So, I need to add lights in here. Um, I'll navigate around as best I can. There's a couple of rooms through here that's kind of have stuff in, but we'll, uh, I'll go into that in another video. The first floor here is going to again have stuff in it. I can't be any more vague, really just stuff. And the top floor is pretty open plan, it's going to be like a kind of dining area thing. Uh, there's the glass roof, there's a glass floor here that looks down. So it's this kind of really modern building. This was built again using Google SketchUp. And if we head up to the roof there is a helicopter. Interesting. Now uh, will this thing fly? Will I use it to take off and rescue from the map? Well uh, I guess you'll just have to play it when it's finished and find out. Um, so yeah, there's this kind of modern building hidden away from the tunnel, uh, and that's on a hidden part of the map, which from, and the word map has just triggered something for me, so if I hit play, and just press the M key, you now actually have a map, so that, the, that secret area you've just seen is actually the question marks up on the top of the map there, with the lake and the farm, uh, and this was just put into Photoshop, and it was basically a top-down picture of the map put into Photoshop, made to look more cartoony, put a bit of a tint to it and stuff and then 
uh, wrote, wrote on, written on, wrote on the um, the key points on there. So the the police bit of the farm is here. The houses are going to be over here, and I've decided I'm going to turn this area, this bit, into farmland. So I've started doing something here. I'm probably going to put a big barn here, but then I'll turn all this into farmland and that into uh, houses and stuff, and this probably into dense forest with the odd house spotted out in the uh, around there. So changes for today. Basically, I've started adding audio. I've uh, made underwater, which I think is really cool. The uh, the fish are actually a particle effect, um, and if I open up particles, I can show you the fish particle effect. It basically has three fish on it, and they spawn, and they orbit around some at different sizes, and they all spawn occasionally and just orbit around the central point, which is why some of them kind of t tend to stick close to it, but you can, you know, I think it adds, it makes the water interesting. I mean, if the particle effects weren't there, it was very boring underwater. Um, and the tunnel is something to explore. I'm hoping there are people that play this game that haven't seen all these videos that ruin the secret area and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I've got for today. The saving loading is now implemented and fully working. It saves to a save file. Um, I've started to do a bit more on the landscaping, mostly with the secret area. The lake is... I'm, I'm happy with the lake now. I'm going to say this area is complete. The yeah, I could probably do a bit of work with that when we um, went through the tunnel there it changed the underwater scene so it went from this kind of blue to this murk I need to fix that there um, but I mean it, yeah it's coming on well for day two I think I've got quite a bit done uh, I'll leave it there before I ramble on anymore but please do stay tuned for day three which will be uploaded tomorrow around about the same time around about midnight or so um, and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I do hope to see you in the next video.